Israel's new powerful laser system. In response to the daily rocket attacks originating from Palestinian territories, Israel has engineered a novel laser weapon to bolster its defense capabilities. Iron Beam, also known as Majin Or, represents the future of Israel's self-defense capabilities. This advanced laser system has the capacity to neutralize rockets, missiles, or drones from a distance, and unlike the Iron Dome, it does so at virtually no cost. It boasts the capability to intercept rockets launched from Gaza even before they breach the border, providing unbroken peace for Israeli citizens without the need for disruptive alarms. Although Israel is a relatively small nation of just 9.3 million people, it manages to stand its ground in a region where the total population of Arab Eastern countries is over 20 times larger. Israel consistently holds its own in what is often considered the world's most volatile hotspot. In under 70 years since declaring its independence, Israel has engaged in nine full-scale wars, beginning with its very first conflict the day after its formation on May 15, 1948. Five Arab countries' armies attempted to invade the nascent state, only to be decisively repelled. The Suez Crisis, the Six-Day War, the October War, and the First and Second Lebanese Wars are just some of the significant military engagements Israel has endured in a relatively short time. Understandably, the country dedicates a full quarter of its budget to defense. As a frontline state and the Western world's final bastion in the Muslim East, Israel finds itself drawn into military conflict on average every nine weeks. Thus, the need for a state-of-the-art defense system capable of countering enemy personnel, missiles, and drones is paramount. In this video, we'll uncover what we know about Israel's clandestine new laser weapons. This diminutive nation continues to stun the world with its innovative military technology. We'll explore how the laser military program was conceived here, the obstacles it overcame, the reason behind the Iron Dome's inception, and why it was deemed necessary to enhance it with the Iron Beam. We'll also delve into the specifics of the Iron Beam and when the Israeli army is likely to utilize it against enemy personnel, missiles, and drones. As a country perpetually embroiled in conflict with the Arab world, Israel is under a compelling obligation to maintain an arsenal that can effectively counter an enemy that vastly outnumbered them, both in terms of personnel and armaments. In this context, the laser emerges as the quintessential anti-aircraft and missile defense weapon. Offering three primary advantages over traditional weaponry, the first of these is the simplicity in aiming and usage, even against high-speed, highly maneuverable targets at close ranges. Indeed, there's a distinct difference between targeting a supersonic rocket that travels hundreds of kilometers on a predictable trajectory and attempting to intercept a missile just a few kilometers away where reaction time is significantly reduced. In the latter scenario, the challenge multiplies exponentially, and that's where laser weapons come into play. There's no need to estimate where the enemy missile will be in a few seconds. The laser system simply points and fires. One of the key advantages of these laser weapons is the relative cost-effectiveness. For instance, consider the Qassam rockets that have been used against Israel, which cost merely a few hundred dollars each. The Iron Dome's Tamir missile, in contrast, comes with a hefty price tag of around $70,000. It's not sustainable to spend $70,000 to counter a few hundred dollars. In contrast, a laser weapon shot costs only a few dollars. Another significant advantage is the continuous operation capacity of laser weapons. A conventional launcher with 20 Tamir missiles takes several hours to reload once depleted, leaving its protection sector virtually defenseless during that time. A laser weapon, on the other hand, doesn't need reloading and can continuously defend its assigned sector. Given these factors, it's clear why Israel, more than any other nation, requires a laser air defense system. Hence, Israeli experts, including those from IAI and Rafael companies, started researching combat lasers back in the mid-70s. 
They've examined the key aspects of such weaponry, built prototypes, and were able to draw conclusions that determine the future course of this defense technology. In 1976, a laboratory successfully tested the first gas dynamic laser, generating about 10 kilowatts of power. Subsequently, researchers began exploring chemical-based systems. Experts concluded that a sufficiently effective combat laser could only be developed in the distant future under favorable conditions. Two decades later, in the mid-1990s, Israel embarked on a second attempt to create laser weaponry. In July 1996, the United States and Israel agreed to jointly develop an advanced combat laser system. The project, officially named Mobile Tactical High Energy Laser, MTHEL, or Nautilus, aimed to establish a close-range missile defense laser system. The MTHEL system relied on a chemical laser using deuterium fluoride, which was expected to generate up to 2 megawatts of power, enough to destroy artillery shells and unguided rockets in flight. However, the laser required a variety of additional equipment to ensure its functionality and the execution of its assigned combat tasks. The project faced significant challenges, with completion dates for various stages constantly being pushed back. Between 2000 and 2001, the MTHEL system successfully destroyed 28 unguided missiles and five artillery shells in flight during tests. Despite these successes, the military was not satisfied due to the system's high complexity, cost, and relatively modest capabilities. As a result, in 2005, Israel withdrew from the MTHEL project and shifted focus to the development of the Iron Dome Missile Defense System, which employs interceptor missiles to neutralize targets using a time-tested method. Two decades after the second attempt, in 2014, Israel company Rafael unveiled a new missile defense system project called Iron Beam. The aim was to create a mobile system mounted on a vehicle chassis capable of striking various airborne targets using a laser beam. The primary targets for this system were intended to be rockets, shells, and mines with significant potential for engaging unmanned aerial objects. The Iron Beam system consists of two trucks equipped with containers housing laser systems. A high-powered, solid-state laser is utilized for target detection, and a radar station is integrated into the system. A command post manages the coordination between the various components of the system. Iron Beam is designed to independently search for and track hazardous objects, directing one or two lasers at them. Depending on the target type, its destruction requires the transfer of heat energy within a few seconds. It's possible to simultaneously fire two lasers at a single object. The maximum target range is estimated at 7 kilometers. Development of Iron Beam gained momentum in response to the increasing threat of precision missiles from Hezbollah and the initiation of Operation Northern Shield in December 2018 along the border with Lebanon. The Department for the Development of Arms and Technologies, led by Danny Gold, oversees all work related to laser weapons. The program's cost is several billion shekels, and although classified, defense industry sources suggest that developers have successfully overcome previous major obstacles. These achievements include the creation of a laser that can quickly and accurately focus on a target. Other challenges associated with such systems include the vast amount of energy required, potential environmental contamination, mobility issues, and the inability to shoot down targets in adverse weather conditions. The Israeli Ministry of Defense is unequivocally committed to bringing the Iron Beam system into active service, given there's no viable alternative at this point. From the perspective of the Israeli military and political establishment, the Iron Dome missile defense system has reached its limit. Since its deployment in 2011, it's intercepted approximately 2,000 missiles. During the latest escalation at the Gaza border, it intercepted 80% of incoming missiles. However, projections suggest that in a serious conflict, Israel could face up to 1,500 missile attacks per day, a load beyond the Iron Dome's capacity, quickly depleting its missile stockpiles. On January 8, 2020, Israel announced substantial progress in the development of laser weapons, with field tests already underway in the Gaza Strip. The interception rate is nearing 100%. The anticipated operational strategy for the laser missile defense system is to engage at short ranges spanning a few hundred meters to tens of kilometers, 
With this, the cost per target interception will be drastically reduced to a few dollars, compared to the $100,000 cost of the Iron Dome. It was planned to bring the system into active service within 2020, but no confirmations have been announced, likely due to the program's classified status. Once operational, the system will be the fifth layer in Israel's multi-tiered missile defense system. Besides the Aero, David Sling, and Iron Dome systems, Israel also announced that alongside the Iron Beam, two additional laser combat systems are under testing. The first is designed for mounting on trucks or armored personnel carriers to offer protection within a radius of 3 to 4 kilometers from mortar and rocket attacks, as well as unmanned aircraft. Undoubtedly, this system is nearing its completion. On February 5, 2020, Israeli TV channel Khan 11 aired a report about the successful test of a new laser installation dubbed Blade of Light. Designed to neutralize explosive devices attached to airborne balloons by terrorists, this setup was intended for the Gaza division. The report stated that over the previous three weeks, the Blade of Light had successfully neutralized about 70 balloon bundles carrying explosive devices. Alongside this, a second system is under development aimed for installation on transport aircraft like Hercules. This system is intended to intercept missiles above the cloud line. Field trials for this system are slated to start in 2024. Already, Israel has shared a video showcasing the testing of such an airborne system, reporting that the laser can function under any meteorological conditions, with neither fog nor clouds posing an obstacle. As of now, the destruction of a drone can be achieved from a distance of one kilometer. Still, Israeli experts are optimistic about increasing this range 20-fold. Israel, a small nation, has once again established its standing as one of the leading innovators in modern weapon systems. It's managed to face challenges that much larger and more financially robust countries are grappling with. To date, only Russia has claimed to have laser weapons in active service, referring to the Perzvet system. Meanwhile, the United States and China are still in the experimental stages of such technology. As of today, May 17, 2023, these systems remain in development, but their promising results hold the potential to significantly bolster Israel's defense capabilities.